What is up, you guys? Pete DiCarlo here with DiCarlo Capital, and today we're going to be talking about Upwork. Upwork has had a very volatile couple of years. You can see here down in March of 2020, we were trading at $6 all the way to peaks here very recently in October of about $62, which is an insane return back down to about $24. They most recently had earnings. A lot of people within our mentorship group and Discord have been asking me about Upwork, if I plan to take a position, and if I was, where would I be looking at? So in this video, we're going to go over all of that, as well as some sample positions that you could end up taking. And we're also going to talk about this potential gap that may fill to the downside. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, check out our Discord link down below. You guys get access to our free Discord. We're over 6,000 members strong. You guys get access to free courses, live streams, seminars, webinars, as well as a ton of other amazing content, guys. Thank you for all the support over the past year. The group and the community is our way of giving back. Go ahead and check it out. Now, looking at Upwork, you can see that obviously not too well over the past couple of months. If we zoom out to a weekly chart, we did have this very strong wedge. I'm sorry, very strong trend line that we were riding for a long time. It was looking like we were going to try to bounce here back at the end of the year around December, but we had a little bit of a bear flag here before we ended up snapping through major trend line support. The bear flag here that you can see zoomed in was right here before we ended up snapping and continuing to drop. Now, you can see that we did actually have a divergence forming for a bit before finally falling a little bit more, had a good little drop on earnings followed by a nice little bounce yesterday. And then from there, we actually ended up pulling back. Now we're trading at $24.51. So we were really unable to hold this major support back a couple of months ago. And since then, we've really just been falling. And it's very important for you to realize how fast we've been able to fall because of how low the volume has been on the volume profile. This is why I love to use a volume profile because these shelves of volume, when we have thin volume, especially like we saw here from like 37 down to 33, these types of moves can happen like probably within a couple of days most of the time because there's just no volume there and nobody wants to trade with low volume. We all want to trade with high volume because that's how you get a stock to move. Now, one of the things that worries me is looking at a weekly chart here, you can see we normally would have a gap right here at about $21. So if I actually go back to the daily and we zoom out, you're gonna notice that we have a gap that has yet to fully fill. It partially filled, but we have a gap that's yet to fully fill. I think that Upwork will end up dropping over the next couple of weeks down to $20, and we will end up filling this gap. And if you look at the weekly chart, you can see there really is no volume. Like there's some volume up above 40, which we're way from, and you can see there's really no volume until we get back down to 15. So honestly, I really wouldn't be buying this. I wouldn't want to catch a falling knife. There is no volume down below here. I ultimately think Upwork will drop down to $15 and then get bought up heavy there. So if I'm somebody who is looking to catch a good entry on uh, Upwork for potentially like a six to 12 month trade or maybe a long-term hold, I personally would really just be patient here. Wait a month or so. If we get down to $15, that's an insane entry point. And I think that that's probably the best spot for you guys to try to grab an entry on Upwork. So we'll see how it goes. That's personally what I would do. We were talking about this with PayPal a while ago as well. You guys know I entered a position on PayPal, which is looking like shit as well. But we were talking about this with PayPal where we were like, Yes, you could be buying at 184, but look at how thin the volume was. The volume is so thin. I was like, we're at least dropping to 110, which we did. And we've been talking about that for months now on this channel. Now that we've snapped 110, there's a thin area of volume down to 100. So we're definitely dropping down to 100. So this is why volume profile is so important is because it's showing you that like where we have thin volume, we're not going to hold like where we have these thick areas we can, but kind of the same situation for PayPal and the same situation, unfortunately, as well for Square. Square looks like it's probably going to drop to 75 as well. So don't catch a falling knife. Be patient. Wait for it. Unless you're planning to hold up work for like five to 10 years and it just really doesn't matter. But I'd always be patient, guys. Thanks for all the support. Hit the like button. Subscribe. I'll see you and have a great weekend.